Hey guys, it's been an incredible year for both AMD and Nvidia and their sales of graphics cards, which unfortunately due to the crazy demand and lacking supply also made it a great year for scalpers. This left a gap in the market for budget conscious gamers who have been holding out before upgrading their rigs and after quite a few months there's finally a lower end card aimed at 1080p gaming from AMD. It's the RX 6600 XD. Here we have the version of this card from XFX, the Speedster Merc 308 Black. Let's see what you get for your money and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing. Merc 308 Black is the higher end version of the RX 6600 XT from XFX. In the Speedster series they also have Kick 308 as well as a Swift 210 if you want to save some money there is. In this video we'll focus on the card that we have in front of us. It features a custom free fan design which pushes air towards aluminium heatsink with the 4 piece nickel plated copper heat pipes. If we look closer we see a pass through design which allows for better heat dissipation. This card features an all black color scheme and it is nice to see that they've included their back plate to keep it in line with the theme. With one exception, the label at the back with the manufacturer serial number is crooked and it really bothers me. On the side we have an LED illuminated logo, bias switch as well as an 8 pin connector for power. On the back there are 3 display 1.4 ports as well as a single HDMI 2.1 port. This card features RDNA 2 Big Navi 23 GPU with 32 compute units, 32 megabytes of infinity cache, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory running a 128 bit memory bus. AMD spec mentions TDP starting at 160 watts and 2359 MHz game clock. We'll have to check this and actual performance in the upcoming deep dive video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Other features include support for FreeSync, display stream compression over display ports, as well as the latest RDNA 2 features like DirectX 12 Ultimate, smart access memory, real time ray tracing, and Fidelity FX super resolution. This XFX Mercury line of cards is designed for enthusiast gamers, and all in all, this unit seems to have plenty of cooling, considering its power class. It'll be interesting to see how it performs. Stay tuned for the full benchmarking and performance comparison video coming out next week. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.